This is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis coming at you once again. If you're passionate about sports, then subscribe to my video. I got a bit about this game. The Michigan Wolverines lose to the Buckeyes, Ohio State, 31 to 20. And I literally have to voice my frustrations. You have no idea how pissed off I am about how Michigan pretty much gave this game away. But it wasn't really just Michigan giving away the game. It was O'Corn. O'Corn, you are a fifth-year senior, and you still don't get it. Dude, you're overthrowing wide-open receivers. I see why they started Spates in the beginning, and then they put in the freshman, Peters, over O'Corn. Because O'Corn, once again, a fifth-year senior, does not get it. He is not a good quarterback at all. I mean, does not have confidence. He's always looking to run when the pressure's there, doesn't stay in the pocket. And when somebody's open, clearly like this Ohio State game today, when somebody's open, he looks at him and then puts his head down to, to start running. And then the play's over with, and, or he holds onto the ball way too long and does not throw it away. He's horrible. He lost this game for Michigan. I really want to tell people that are Michigan fans that O'Corn, a fifth-year senior, lost this game for the Michigan Wolverines. We had Michigan had it in the back. You start off 14 zip, and you know what? Give credit to Ohio State. Ohio State is legit a top five defense. Um, they kind of struggled on offense just a little bit. Uh, Jake T. Barrett even got hurt in his game. And then the uh, the backup quarterback, the freshman, I want to say his name's Dwayne Hoskins, literally came in and lit it up. Credit to the coaching staffs. Credit to them game managing this well. But Michigan was up 14-zip. Right after that, when Ohio State was started to gain momentum and then they scored, Michigan had no momentum. I mean, O'Corn did not give Michigan any type of momentum at all. It was literally... The game was in the hands of Higdon and Evans, the running backs, literally. If Michigan's not running the ball well this, this season, Michigan's through. The run game opens up the easy passing game for Michigan. And O'Corn can't even do that, which is why Peters came in and did somewhat good, especially as a freshman. And then he gets hurt. Then next year, you know, we put in O'Corn again during that Wisconsin game. And guess what happens? We lose the game because of O'Corn. There's no minimum, those there's no momentum with O'Corn at all. And I'm very pissed off. Very. You know, the Michigan defense for this Ohio State game played very good. Um, they were stopping the run at, at one point, and, and then in the fourth quarter, they Ohio State pretty much did what they wanted to do the last five minutes of the game. So um, I credit the Michigan defense. The Michigan defense did pretty good. Um, I thought that they did exceptionally well as far as what, the, you know, everybody predicted because everybody predicted that this was going to be a blowout game. Ohio State was just going to take over, and Michigan came out and did work, which is why I'm very proud of Michigan. Um, but Harbaugh has to go out there and get a quarterback. Harbaugh has to go out there and get a quarterback. I know we have McCaffrey. Um, I don't know. I think Spates is returning next year. We'll see. I'm glad O'Corn is done. We'll still have Peters. So we'll still, we'll, we'll, don't worry, Michigan fans um, and people that are out there that are, you know, diehard Michigan fans, don't worry. Next year, I, I hate when, you know, I, I, I know I hate when people say, oh, next year, next year, next year. Listen, next year will be a lot better because – now Harbaugh has all the pieces he needs to work with because we lost a lot last year. I mean, our offense was pretty much brand new, nothing but fresh faces. The offensive line were three new freshmen. I mean, which is why we didn't have an offensive line this year. We had no experience. Um, the receiving core was pretty much all young, too. So, I mean, I know that's not an excuse, but, hey, you know, that, that also comes and plays a factor, too. The defense was also young, too, even though we were clutch. You know, the defensive line uh, was it, it was clutch with Gary and the boys. 
and the linebacking core was clutch too, and the, and, and the corners stepped up when they needed to step up. So, you know, it w- will be a lot better next year, and then we're getting better recruits again this coming up year too. Um, it's sad that Michigan has to be eight and four when really we should be nine and three. Um, it is it, it is what it is. So you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. You can follow me on all social medias: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Let me know what you think about this video and your frustrations with Michigan football and O'Corn. I just, whoever comments on this video, I know you're just going to talk about O'Corn because he is garbage. Thank you for listening. I'm out.